Aren't science and technology the most common terms in today's era? But how many of us are aware of its origins in India? Jai Hind everyone, my name is Arushi Raghavanshi. I'm from 12th standard, Umang section, Daffodils Public School, Burim. Today I'm here to have a short discussion on my perspective on science and technology and its origins in India. We all are aware how India is a culturally rich country and also it has a rich history of how creative and innovative minds and scientific approach we had in our citizens. Talking about the ancient times when it was the era of industrial civilization, at the time also they used to have weighing machines and weighing systems. It was also known as business oriented civilization. At that time also people used to do calculations and many more such things which we do in today's era. Talking about zero, it was a great invention of its time. It was discovered by Aryabhat. He also wrote in his book Aryabhatiya about certain other topics such as trigonometry, sign table, algebra and many more such concepts which are used in today's era. Aryabhat also discovered about the gravitational force, Gurutvakarshan. He gave such an idea that all the bodies are attracted towards the earth present on the earth and all the bodies are placed in their positions in space due to some force known as Gurutvakarshan. Talking about astronomy, our great scientists and mathematicians Aryabhat, Sridharacharya, Bhaskaracharya and many more such scientists led to many discoveries in that era also at that time when there were no technology available to us. Talking about the medicinal field, Shushrut, also known as the father of surgery in our country. He also discovered many devices which were used for surgery and wrote about them in his, uh, in his works. Other scientists known as Charak, he also wrote many Ayurvedic and, medicinal, uh, and medicines about uh, Ayurveda in his uh, book Charak Samhita. Other fields are engineering. We can see great engineering masterpieces in the temples of India, the temple of Khajuraho, the temples present in Tamil Nadu, Odisha, and many more such areas which we can see great examples of the uh, engineering field. But now, after the British's uh, invasion in our country, all these scriptures and the works in which these uh, methods were, uh, were developed, these were some, uh, some way discovered. These were some way destroyed. But now in this contemporary era, India is again making its mark in the whole world by uh, getting uh, ahead in fields such as biotechnology, space research, and many more such fields. The uh, astronomical missions such as Mars Orbiter Mission, Mangalyanam, and other, uh, other inventions such as supercomputer, Param Shivai, are also examples which shows us that India is once again being rich in technology. Also, the government, uh, the government's mission, that is Digital India, is also leading to create a strong base of uh, digital infra infrastructure and increasing digital literacy and providing digital services to every citizen in India. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.